All right, here's a 6% moon the following day after the 1%. Um, these are a couple of pictures I took. Uh, then I do some time lapses. Um, I wanted to explain, um, when we look at the moon um, through a time lapse, you can actually see the unlit portion of it um, coming up right here. Um, you see the unlit portion of it, and you see the part that's... Uh, supposedly the sun's lighting up and I do believe that it is partial um, light from the sun or actually it could be earth glow on the moon um, being that it's much closer to earth than it is the sun um, but it's being charged and that's yeah it's got a couple planes flying by uh, but you see the part that's lit up is refracted up okay that light is um, actually not really refracted up but it's blocking you from seeing that edge the actual edge because it's just so bright you can't see it but that's uh, what happens out over the open water is you get that brightness that blocks you from seeing any further out if that makes any sense um, you know here's the thing that you know I take pictures and you know these are some long exposures so you're going to see a little bit of running in the in the stars uh i think on these ones i did short ones and then i i ran this through a filter a couple filters um but i wasn't done doing uh the time lapse i just wanted to click off a few pictures and then i wanted to highlight them with some uh you know run it through some filters and then you'll see the original ones um Actually, you already seen the original one, um, but uh, here's another picture that I took. Uh, didn't get it quite down in the frame, but here this one is. And again, you can see how that light is blocking you from seeing that actual edge. And that's the raised up edge that you'll get out over the water or the haze farther off into the distance um, during the daylight times. Okay, now here's uh, the moon, and you can even watch its uh, light rays coming across start to fade out. Um, it starts getting into this darker area, and light has its limits. Okay, now I zoomed in much closer, and you see this light off to the right-hand side. That's a channel marker light, um, and look right where it uh, vanishes above it. Um, so that tells me that my eye level is actually above it. Um, and then I just threw in a couple of, of pictures uh, of the stars. Then I highlighted it. Um, this is kind of like part of the Milky Way. You can kind of see some of it in here. Um, and running it through filters. This is not Photoshop. It's just some filters in the program that I got. I highlighted a little bit better in this one. Um, then I got another picture coming up. It'll be, uh, this, is, this is an original one. Didn't do nothing to it. Um, but you can see kind of the runs in the stars because it's a two and a half minute time lapse or uh, long exposure. And then here's one with some uh, off to the left. Uh, well, you got some light pollution coming in here, but you can still see some of the Milky Way. And then that's the original one. All right, um, thanks for watching, and like I always say, do your own research.